This is a class one appliance. We've attached the wand lead to the metal, exposed metal part. We'll turn it around here so we've got access to the switches. Now, uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to come over to our pat tester and we're going to go onto auto test codes. And this time we're going to power up the um, bench grinder. So we're going to use test code 104. And we're saying is the plug lead in case mechanical safety features okay. We can either tick those or we can go all okay. Um, and now it's measuring the earth resistance. It's past that, just about 25 milliohms. And now it's going to put the switch on and it's now doing a powered up leakage test. If we look at the leakage, it's 8.9 milliamps, and you see the screen's gone red, uh, which would tell me that it's a fail. It also illustrates why sometimes you may want to do a leakage test instead of an insulation test. If we repeat this test shortly, but instead of doing the leakage test, we'll do a insulation test at 500 volts, you may find that this passes, whereas this test has actually failed because there actually is leakage. But at this point we can move forward and if we want to print, it's telling me what the faults are, if we want to print a label, um, we can go into uh, the appliance. So we can just click on here and what sort of appliance is it? It's a grinder. So put in the description field um, and we'll clear that off. Oops type mark, uh, put grinder, GR, oh it's coming up there, and then we hit on the print icon, and appliance label, and this time you will see the label is different from previously, it says danger and you'll see the different serrated, the angled lines around the edge, it also highlights what the fault is, which is the leakage being 9.9 .9 milliamps, okay. So we'll now go ahead and do the test, but without doing the leakage test. So this time we will do an insulation test. Okay, we're now back. We're now back to do an uh, insulation test uh, on this class one appliance. So first we're going to do an earth test and then we'll do an insulation test. As in the previous video it showed, it failed the leakage test. So we're going to see what happens when we do and insulation test. Oops. So we use test code 102. Again, visually it's all good. We can either tick these individually or go all okay. I've done chosen the quick path. It's now doing an earth test. 25 milliamp milliohms rather, about the same as last time. And now we're doing a insulation test at 500 volts. And it's coming back, very interestingly, coming back greater than 600 megohms, which is very good. So at this point, then we can go ahead and um, enter the information and we can print a label like we did before. On this occasion, the label would come back as a pass. Now the difference is sometimes a leakage test is required, and this was illustrated in the fact that the leakage test, when we tested the grinder with the leakage test, it failed. When we tested it at a 500 volt test, it passed, and that is to do with the type of switch that is in the appliance.